Okay, hello everyone and happy Friday. So today I am sharing my beef and broccoli video. As most of you know, last week I posted a picture of my beef and broccoli and you all, it was so good. And many of you all asked for the recipe. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. It's so easy, you won't believe it, okay? So what I have here is some broccoli. I like to use fresh broccoli for the beef and broccoli. I have some peppers that I chopped up and onion. I have onion, green and red bell, pep bell pepper, excuse me. But you don't have to use any of that that you don't wanna use. Um, I like to use oyster sauce in my beef and broccoli. And sometimes I'll use hoisin. And I'm gonna tell you the difference between the two that I notice for the most part is the hoisin is a little more sweet. I don't like mine sweet, so if you like sweet, you can add some hoisin with your oyster sauce or you can use some brown sugar. So I'm just gonna use oyster today, you'll notice that. And then I like to use a little soy sauce that adds a little flavor to it. Now, one of my key ingredients I use for my meat is I like to buy this already pre-cooked um, beef fajita meat. You can find these in the stores everywhere, in your local grocery stores, Walmart, wherever you go. Um, they're everywhere. So um, get the pre-cooked beef uh, or even the chicken. They're really good to use in your beef and broccoli as well as like in fajitas and things like that or quesadillas. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, I have my skillet set to a high heat. I'm just using a little sesame oil, but you can use whatever you like. I'm going to add my meat into the pan. Now this meat is already seasoned, but I add a little bit of my Greek all-purpose as well, okay? So you can add what you like to that, or you don't have to add any seasonings at all. It's really good. And if those who have used it, you already know. So we're gonna cook this up a little bit, um, just for a few minutes. Not really cook it, we're really just heating it up. But I like to get it to where it's, uh, it has like a little darkness to it. So I'll show you all once I'm done uh, frying it up in the pan. Now after a few minutes, go ahead and take it out. So I'll see how it kind of starts looking like that. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the pan. Add in a little more of your sesame oil or whatever oil you're using. Add in your peppers. And what you want to do is just cook your peppers until they're done enough for you. Once my peppers are, and my onions are where I want them to be, I'm going to add in my sauce. Now, if you're adding in hoisin as well, the majority of the sauce you want to use is the oyster. I'm not going to tell you how much to use because it really just depends on how much sauce you're making. And stir that in like that. I'm going to use this entire uh, bottle here. I can't see how much is in it. It's a 12.6 ounce. So we're gonna stir that in. Add a little bit of your soy sauce. You don't need much, because I usually add some to mine as well. Sometimes if the sauce is too thick for you, you can add in a little beef broth, okay? A little beef broth. Now if you don't have that, add in chicken broth or add in some water. That'll work as well. Stir it good. Add in your beef and add in your broccoli. Okay, and stir that in. I like to grab two spoons and just stir it together. Like this. So you want to get it mixed well until everything is covered. Now once I get mine covered, um, I cover it and let it just, and turn it down. I did turn it down on a medium low. And I just let mine cook about 10 minutes covered. Now the reason being, I don't like, y'all know I don't like mushy vegetables. I like my vegetables to still have a little bit of a crunch or a firmness to it rather. So you just want to cover yours and let it cook into your broccoli is to your desired tenderness. So when I come back, I'll show you all the finished product of my simple beef and broccoli. Okay, I've been cooking mine for about 10 minutes, you all. And here is the finished product. 
And honey, when I tell you it smells so good, it smells so good. I want you to give this a try. I know it's Friday and tomorrow's Saturday. A lot of us don't cook on the weekend or don't like to. So if you're thinking about getting takeout or ordering out, I want you to consider making your own. Okay, it's really, really good. And all you need to do is make a bed of rice or you can eat it just like this. <laughs> so I want to thank you all so much for watching and you have a wonderful, blessed day.